Today was less graphic and intense than previously in court. It's the Brian Smith murder trial. Smith was arrested for both the death of Kathleen Henry in 2019 and Veronica Bauchuk that occurred sometime in 2017 or 18. Today's testimony was less intense or graphic than what the jury has come to expect after previously watching and listening to videos showing the last 36 minutes of Henry's life. Numerous law enforcement officers spoke to the jury, going over the hundreds of photos taken in the Marriott hotel room, Smith's home, and the skeletal remains found just up the Seward Highway. An FBI agent testified that cell phone location information for Smith's phone shows it was near where Henry's body was found. And under cross-examination, the special agent confirmed he only tracked the phone, not Smith. AT&T can also provide a, um, a location, it's called Nellos, which is the network estimation location of where they believe the phone to be. It's similar to Google location, but they'll provide you a GPS point and it'll provide you a uh, radius of where the phone is likely to be found. So we have the cell towers from the previous slide mapped out here, but then we also have a Google location um, at the event that occurred at um, 107 and 25 seconds. And all of this is consistent with being in the area of where the, the set of human remains were found. What you're tracking is the location of a cellular device. That is correct, sir. You're not putting that in the hands of any particular person. No, not at that. My job is to look at the phone records for the phone number and determine the general locations. Okay. So, for example, if somebody's phone is stolen, you're not tracking that person's location, you're tracking the location of the person who stole the phone. It's the device I'm tracking. Right. Now, later that afternoon, another APD officer showed pictures of the blue carpeting in Smith's house, ripped up, turned upside down, and stained dark brown and red. The couch had been pulled away from that same area. And you can find live coverage of the trial on alaskasnewsource.com. We also have live coverage on our news app and our free streaming channels. Remember, some of the trial involves upsetting images and details.